Hello Will from Coconut Head Productions to bring you a LEGO Ninjago 2016 review of the Tiger Window Island. Package number is 70604. Comes with five minifigs. Here is the front of the box and here is the back of the box. This set comes with four bags of building, one big figure in its own packaging, one sticker sheet and one instruction booklet. Now let's get on with the minifigs. First minifig you get in this set is the sensei of all the ninjas and he's pretty cool. I really like the white beard. I know it's not exclusive but it looks cool. He does come with a coconut as an accessory so that's quite funny. And he does come with some really cool back printing. He also comes with another helmet so when he's in his hot air balloon. And here is a better look at his face and torso printing. Now on to the next minifig. Next minifig you get in this set is a dark red ninja and she looks pretty cool. It is a girl and it looks really cool. I really like the printing and the leg printing on her. And you also get the new katana holder piece that looks really cool and easier to put katana swords in. She also features some back printing and here is a better look at her face. Now on to the next minifig. Last ninja you get in this set is the black ninja and he is exclusive to this set because of his face but besides that nothing's exclusive. But besides that a really cool looking minifig. I like the green on him. I don't care that it's not translucent because if it was it, all of it should have been translucent really. He also does come with the really cool katana holder like the other ninja in the set and he does feature some back printing and a double sided face. Here is a better look at his double sided face on without the mask and here is a better look at his normal sided face without the mask on. In this set you also do get the sword of the green ninja. Now on to the next minifig. Next minifig you get in this set is an ordinary pirate guy. He looks pretty cool. I like the torso printing, how damaged it is, and then the face printing is pretty cool, but the leg printing we've seen before in other sets, and he does come with some really cool back printing. Now on to the next minifig. The last minifig you get in this set is a big fig, and she is the first female big fig and the first Ninjago big fig. I really like the flags on top of her. Those are stickers, stickers on her and they are connected from the back. So that's pretty cool. I really like the side armor piece on her. That looks really cool. And she does come with an anchor as a weapon. Now onto the build of the set. So here are the mini builds of the set. You do get three mini builds of this set. So we'll start on with the hot air balloon one for the sensei. And it looks really cool on how many pieces they use. I like getting this basket piece, so that's pretty cool. And the hot air balloon piece looks cool. And you do get a propeller and you can move it around so he can drop his coconut things. Next thing you get is this spider and this is just well made. I really like how they're using this helmet piece for the tail and the spike. The face on it looks alright. It can't go up but it can go down and I really like these stark red coloured things. The main mini build you get with this set is this propeller thing, glider I'm not sure. And it looks alright, you do get swords on each side and there are stickers there. And there's nothing for them con to control except using pistols and putting them there. So that's a little weak on the building of the build. But now I'll get on to the main build of this set.
So here is the main build of the set and it's great, it's a giant island and it looks awesome. For how much this set costs you are getting a lot just with this build. So we'll take a look into the build right now. So the bottom part you got a little staircase with water around here and that looks really cool on the left. Then you got this power miner piece here. That looks really cool how they're making it a stone thing that's holding the structure. You also get a sticker of a falling spider because that's where the spider's meant to be. And then you get this little area here. And the face on this, how they're using the Chima wings is just really cool with the mouth. And there is a thing at the back where you can press it and it will lift it up or drop it down. And it's pretty much just to lift it up but it doesn't work half the time. So that's probably the worst play feature in the set, but it's not as bad as you would expect. So on the second level, you do get a little temple, and how cool is that? There's a little temple on this island. Then you move on to the other side, you do get a tree, and I love how this tree's made, how they're using this bush piece, that looks really cool. And you do get a Lego crab at the top, so that is really cool as well. And you also get coconut heads on the sides of it, so that is awesome. But it does fall, it's a little weak on the structure of the coconut thing, how it's connected. It could have been connected better, but besides that, it looks really cool. And then at the stairway, you do have little spikes and stuff on it, and they look really cool. Back to the temple, the two side prints right here are stickers and then the middle one is a printed piece. We'll get up to the top before we'll get into the inside of the temple and you do have a coconut head right there and all these fire and spikes coming from the sides and it looks really cool how they're using a frying pan at the top. But the main play feature is here, you grab this and you slide it and the coconut head will fall down, so that's pretty cool. And I really like these torches on the sides. So if we turn it around, you can see that there's a vine going down, and that's really cool. And what that's used for is for a ninja to swing from, so that is awesome. And then the inside of this is really cool. I'll just make sure it zooms up. That is a sticker and a sticker and you got this little table and a light and you can move it like that so that is awesome if you take off the table it does come with a printed money piece in silver so we haven't gotten that before we'll just get it to zoom up and there you go and you do get a pirate hat and a mustache for some reason i'm not sure why the mustache but that is pretty cool then you go down and you got a little cave part 
And this is neat. They didn't need to add this, but they did. And you get two golden brick pieces there on the sides and then a little water part down there. So that looks really cool. Now onto my score. To my score of this set. This is my favorite Ninjago set of the year and every other theme of Ninjago. This set is just amazing. The price of this set is so low for what you're getting. This temple island thing, it's not much as you can see, but it is great. The build of this set is amazing. The minifigs of this set are amazing. And just how the structure of this set is made is great. So what do I give this set? I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. So I hope you like, subscribe, and comment. Bye.